Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Guys, this will be a short one. I got the Husky and the WeatherTech sunshades. Think about how hot it gets when your truck sits outside. And I know the value of having a sunshade. I've been using them for many years. And I didn't know if the Husky one was better than the WeatherTech, so I picked up both of these. And I'm going to try them out, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion. I'm going to show you how they fit. I've got an F-150 2017 XLT. All right, so I don't know if you have the same vehicle, but hopefully this helps you in some way. But I'm going to go ahead and crack these open, take a close look, and then I'm going to put them in the vehicle and, you know, see how they fit. So let's get started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So, if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. Let's take a look at the Husky first. And then we'll take a look at the weather tech, okay? Let me put the weather tech aside and uh, give this uh, enough room here. So here is the part that you would actually put towards your window. And this thing just kind of folds, right? So if we open it up, it's going to basically look like that. And of course, they're advertising on your windshield. But uh, it's got a nice soft fabric here. It looks like it's made very well. All right, so nice soft fabric all the way around. A big opening for your mirror and if you have a sensor. So when you do go out and buy these, especially the WeatherTech, they ask you, you know, what kind of vehicle you have and all that because sometimes some of them have different stuff on the top, like the mirror and the sensor could be different. Now, if you turn this around, it is soft on the other side. So I guess this is the side that stays inside the vehicle, okay? Um, you know? So let me just flip it around. You can see that. There you go. Okay. So again, you know, double, you know, double stitched. Looks okay. As far as that's concerned. Um, nice and soft. Again, for the interior of your car. And a lot of these have two functions on the other side. I don't know if this does. I'll look it up and I'll confirm it by putting a note right there. Um, they say that in the winter... Um, some of the black sides can actually keep the vehicle warmer. <laughs> so I don't know if that Husky does that. But that's a close look at the Husky. Let's take a look at the WeatherTech. By the way, while Brooklyn's hanging out, let me just show you real quick how this folds up. So it's just kind of like boom, 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 and you're done, and you throw it in your vehicle. All right, here's the WeatherTech. So we've got Velcro. Okay, we just open up the Velcro. And uh, let's look at the other side and go from there. So they, that WeatherTech specifically asked me specific questions to make sure it would be the one for my vehicle. So I do believe this will fit better. Okay, so there's the silver part that's reflective. that will keep that sun out of your vehicle. And I will get some information because I could swear the dark side has a function in the winter, all right? And so when you get this in your vehicle, don't worry about this curve because once you get this in the vehicle, this actually kind of snugs into where the window is and it does hold well. So don't stress that. And to be honest with you, in my Fusion, you know what I do? I just kind of keep it on the side of the passenger seat and I put stuff underneath it so it becomes like... You know, an area where, you know, no one knows what's underneath it, right? It's black. So it, it allows me to keep certain things in the vehicle. But let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what the Husky looks like installed. All right, it's going to be awkward. i got to hold the camera, stuff like that. But let me go ahead and put this in so you could see me putting it in. But you could also see what it looks like from the inside. 
and then we'll do the outside. So you, you just kind of put this in and uh, you do need, by the way, you do need to actually use, oh, I'll show you in a minute. You have to drop these down to hold this thing in place, by the way. I'll get a better view for, for you in a minute. But uh, give me a second, let me lock this in. So that's what it looks like. And you do have an opening here. You do have an opening around the mirror. And you you do, well, you could slide it over a little bit, but you still have an opening over here as well. So it does an okay job. Um, and you know, it's foldable and all that stuff, right? So that's what it looks like from the outside. All right, as the dogs bark. So let me get the other side too. All right, so you could see, you know, and that's it. Nothing major there. I mean, you know, it doesn't block the sensors, stuff like that. I guess it does the job. All right, there's what it looks like. Taking it out, all you got to do is drop your visors. Okay. This kind of like falls down. All you got to do is pull it out and fold it up. And again, I don't have a camera crew, so I'm just doing this on my own. But there you go. And then you can kind of like leave it, you know, I guess, uh, you know, down here somewhere. When you need it, you pull it up. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the weather tech looks like. Um, and so, yeah, if you leave it rolled up, you just got to open it up. And I'll show you how it fits. And you can kind of compare. And then I'll tell you what I think, because, you know, I'm going to end up using one of these more than usual. So give me a second. Let me push this all in. So right off the bat, the WeatherTech has a tighter fit. Now, I didn't pull the visors down yet, you know, and you don't really need to, right? You could just throw this on and, you know, it, it is blocking the sun, believe it or not. You know what I mean? If you look at where the visor is based off the window, you know, um, it is blocking the sun. It's pretty tight in there, too, if you look at that corner. And the same thing with this corner. For the most part, there's a little... It's, it's, it's very little, but again, this thing definitely blocks most of the sun. You don't have to pull your visors down, but if you did, you know, you'd just be pushing it in place a little bit more, which no big, no big difference. Um, there's really no light coming up here except that little Ford logo that's been there, you know, you get, you know, but, um, and I probably need to push it down in that corner there, but that's about it. I got to tell you. You know, uh, they do make a good quality product. So, so far, I'm liking the WeatherTech. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like outside. So there it goes. This one's definitely a lot snugger. It, it's all the way to the top and the corners and the bottom. Is it perfect? No, but I think it's the best one out there. I picked up these two because I like to buy brands that I, I believe stand by their products. And, um, yeah, I, I, you know, I even got this corner tighter also, which was cool. So, I, you know, I just pushed it and it went right in. It's got the WeatherTech brand there. But uh, they did a good job. All right, another view. But, yeah, very simple product. Definitely reduces the heat when you get in the vehicle. That's for sure. By the way, when you install this, it does take a little pushing to get it around the mirror, okay? So it is a little harder to put on, but again, it blocks that sun so much better, okay? And then to take this off, I mean, you know, you just don't be shy, right? You're not going to break it, but I kind of bend it over. I do the same thing, and now I can pull it out with no problem. 
So guys, I have to say, I like the WeatherTech one. Definitely is my favorite. Um, it it definitely covers the majority of where the sunlight comes in. And let me tell you, you know, if you're getting into your car in the afternoon, um, you know, it, it's brutal. When I park this vehicle, I normally put that up if I know I'm going to be running around for a half hour or more. So to me, the WeatherTech sunshade is the winner. And it is a reason why I have it in my Fusion as well. If you have any questions, let me know. If you liked the video and you thought it was helpful, give us a thumbs up. It always helps the channel. We hope you subscribe. We hope you become members of the family and share our video. Thanks so much. All right. So I did put some part numbers in the description, but do me a favor, please. I'd rather you order the correct one. So as you can see, I did put the websites for the WeatherTech and the Husky on this slide. I put part numbers, but those might be more specific to my vehicle. So make sure you go to the website and uh, really look up your correct model. Okay, um, the WeatherTech cost me $77 on Amazon, but on WeatherTech it was $65 plus shipping. That was June of 2022. The Husky uh, cost me $54.95 on Amazon's website. Okay, now the Husky has a one-year warranty and the WeatherTech has a limited lifetime warranty. All right, I hope this information is helpful. Thank you. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.